Good afternoon. We welcome you to the Deadman Center here in Radford, Virginia for this afternoon's matchup between the Cornell Big Red and your Radford Highlanders. I'm Thomas Delves, alongside the voice of the Highlanders, Rick Watson. And Rick, Cornell comes in today on a little win streak, three in a row. What should we expect from this team today? They like to get it up and down the floor, Thomas. They want to run in transition a lot like Radford on offense. And on defense, they're going to pressure the basketball. They play four guards, and it's going to be one of those situations where they're going to rotate some other guards in and out. So the Highlanders have to be ready for that tempo. They have Sean Miller back this year. Uh, he missed last season because of a shoulder ailment. He's arguably the best player in the Ivy League. So to have him back as their leading scorer, he's a tall guard. He's 6'6", 6'7". He's going to cause some problems for Radford on the offensive end. Highlanders are coming in to today's game on a win streak of their own. They're on two in a row looking for three. They had a big win Friday night against Siena, and defense was the name of the game for that game. They had 10 blocks in the game, held Siena to 30% from the floor. What should we expect from them offensive and defensively for today? Well, and Coach Jones said, you know, we just stayed in our stance against Siena. And that's, you know, it sounds simple, but that basic is what really parlays good defense. And to hold a Siena team to 30% as Radford did, as you said, very impressive. It's going to be disciplined today. You have to make sure you rotate back in transition after made baskets. They're going to want to get the ball down the floor. And it's going to be key today to once again make it. Once they get in the half court and they set up in their offense, stay in your stance. Do the same things. The one thing Radford has to do a better job of today, the coaches are concerned about, is keeping Cornell off the offensive glass. Radford gave up 26 offensive rebounds against Siena on Friday. So they can't do that today if they expect to win. Highlanders look to make it three in a row here, and a week from today they will continue their non-conference schedule, and then they're moving to Big South basketball. Uh, excited to get that conference schedule going, I'm sure. But up next, Cornell and your Radford Highlanders here on the Big South Network. 